Here we go again. Trump and Butler County's J.D. Vance are the last chance to save our country politically. I'm afraid if we lose this one, it's going to take a civil war to save the country, and it will be saved. It's the greatest experiment in the history of mankind. And if we come down to a civil war, I'm glad we got people like uh, Schmidt and the Bikers for Trump on our side. That's a state senator from Ohio calling for civil war. The day after an African-American became the Democratic presumptive nominee. They don't even try and hide it anymore. A civil war. Oh yeah, and the civil war, it'll be spearheaded by his fat biker friends. This as he was introducing J.D. Vance, a spineless mope who used to rail against this very sort of rhetoric. I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. Look, when that 20-year-old MAGA freak took a shot at Trump, Republicans screamed how it was the product of Democrats and their hate for Trump. Your viewers continuously since the 10-day-ago near assassination attempt on former President Trump because the mainstream media is in manipulation mode right now. They don't want us talking about that. That's why the timing of this announcement, the text breakup from the election, um, and proceedings going forward with Joe Biden. That's why this announcement came right now. They, they don't want us talking about what happened. They don't want us talking about a resilient man who faced a near assassination and, and stood up with resiliency. They certainly didn't want us talking about the hearings today. They certainly didn't want us talking about security failings. So what do they do? A text breakup and a switcheroo, and here we are today. And The View is, of course, doing what The View does best. They're going to pump the girl candidate no matter what. But of course, when it was revealed that the kid was mad, using an AR-15 rifle that the Democrats campaign against? Well, Republicans simply doubled down, and now they said the Secret Service were in on it. I would have to get back to you. That is a no. You're full of today. You're just being completely dishonest. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I... Republicans love to pretend that two things are true. One, that the government is the enemy, and two, they'll wage a civil war if they don't get what they want. Fight! 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 We got time, come on. Hey, we are in the fight for the soul of our nation. We are in a fight for our kids and our grandkids, a fight that we can never imagine. Grab them by the pussy. Republicans love to pretend that two things are true. One, the government is the enemy, and two, they'll wage a civil war if they don't get what they want. Okay, first of all, red states like Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, if the federal government is your enemy, I have an idea. Stop paying federal taxes. Then build your own roads and water treatment plants and other infrastructure like bridges and buildings. Also, federal money for health and housing and food stamps for the poor, gone. And then guess what? Your state is free, free to collapse because you can't stay afloat on the tax revenue from three Cracker Barrels and an Esso station. The money these red states pay in federal taxes is a fraction of what they get back because states like California pay seven times more in federal taxes, and that goes to you and your junior high militia. In other words, all that bullshit you say about California, well, we save your ass. Civil war. Civil war. Civil war. Civil war. Civil war. Civil war. I love cracker logic, that these old flabby white guys really believe that a civil war is going to go in their favor because they have oath keepers and biker gangs on their side. Look at this man boob convention. In a civil war, they wouldn't need guns because 30 minutes into it, cholesterol would pop their black little hearts like birthday balloons. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. Trump is lucky to be alive, but he has no one to blame but himself. MAGA loves to talk shit, but the truth is, that's all it is. Fight! Fight! This senator was on Charlie Kirk's show, a pimply-faced racist incel. In the Civil Rights Act, though, let's be clear, created a beast, and that beast has now turned into an anti-white weapon yeah and that and that's and that's the reality and so we just need to fundamentally relook at a lot of our civil rights legal regime and without that even though i don't think it's sort of the magic bullet but i think without that there's limits to the amount of progress we're going to make let's talk about discourse and dialogue Th this topic would have been even more forbidden four or five years ago but it's yeah. now becoming in more and more mainstream circles is that because the problem is becoming worse or but our side is more courageous to confront it. Charlie Kirk thinks he can say whatever he wants because Fox's Sean Hannity will take his phone call. And Hannity is another joke. My training videos, I've been doing this now seven years. Taking his martial arts classes while his 40 inch waist and man titties bend him over his desk. And then there's this loser currently in prison for January 6th. A few minutes ago, a federal judge ordered former Trump advisor Steve Bannon 
to report to prison by July 1st to serve his four-month prison sentence. It's not going to happen like you think it's going to happen. All hell is going to break loose tomorrow. It's all converging, and now we're on, as they say, the point of attack, right? The point of attack tomorrow, okay? It's going to be quite extraordinarily different. And all I can say is strap in. Now, this guy's my favorite ass talker. Where does he think the support is going to come from? A few disgruntled cops and a Fresno biker gang? Because it ain't coming from the military. We don't take an oath to a country. We don't take an oath to a tribe. We don't take an oath to a religion. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. I want to be a dictator. Millie's right. There'll be no exodus from the ranks of America's defenders to the ranks of these hillbilly militia fighting simply because Megyn Kelly hates Whole Foods. The country's going to burn. But I will say this. There are people out there who do scare the hell out of me. Leaders and fighters for freedom and liberty and the American dream. Whoa, the Trump base loves to talk tough, but that's all it is. Talk. Um, I believe in hate speech. When you have hate for somebody, I am 100% into speech, hate speech, because it's freedom of speech. You can speak. So if you hate someone, you should be able to just say it. Yeah. But violence and hate solve nothing. And those espousing civil war bullshit usually do so because they possess little or no critical thinking skills or even basic common sense. I just wanted to say, look, welcome to the end of democracy. <laughs> we're here to overthrow it completely. We didn't get all the way there on January 6th, but we will we, we will endeavor to, forget, oh, oh, to get rid oh. of it and replace it with, with this right here. Fight! Fight! Amen. This country's not going back to the Industrial Revolution and union-busting humps for the billionaires of days gone by. And don't you think for a second he's not going to unleash hell on all of his political enemies. This is only the beginning of politicians putting other politicians and their families in prison. Fox News and MAGA play on the poor in red states by blaming Democrats for their sorry economic status. But if you've ever taken an econ class or hell, just looked around, businesses don't hire people because they got a tax break. They just give that money to CEOs and stockholders. Businesses only hire people when there's a demand for the product they can't fulfill. So they hire more workers to meet that demand. And that demand comes from the middle class. And that happens when they get a tax break, not rich people. But electing a Democrat will only start a civil war if Republicans and Fox News lie to Americans and play on their frustrations. A civil war is unlikely, but political violence, it's not. I don't know if I'll do the fighting myself or if other people will. Trump plays on people's ignorance. I love the poorly educated. But it's not a malevolent ignorance. It's a Machiavellian lie. Trump followers are lied to 24-7. And as Republicans try and hide the truth about the massacre of over 50 million Native Americans and over 15 million African slaves by our ancestors, it illustrates the snowflake Republican game plan. Ron, do you like my white boots? DeSantis has outlawed the teaching of slavery and the elimination of Native American life in Florida school books. And soon teachers won't be allowed to explain evolution either. Did you ever notice the people who deny evolution are the very people who would benefit the most from it? There won't be a civil war when Trump loses, but it won't be for lack of trying. MAGA crybabies always resort to violent rhetoric when they fail, but they forget this fact. They always fail. Maybe, and I'm just spitballing here, if you want to win, stop following a loser. Trust me, I'm like a smart person. Shut the f*** up, Don. Who's with me? Oh yeah, the lie. Indictable. Out of sheer morbid curiosity, I'm allowing this freak show to continue. This isn't their Republican Party anymore. I don't want to talk about this stuff. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do I, Am I wrong? Yeah, right. TikTok. You're in a lot of trouble, Donnie. <laughs> I think he's crazy. I'm Chip Franklin.